Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a random sound generator. Now I have an example in the simulator of what we're creating today. It's a simple round web button at the top and each time we play it, it's going to play a random sound from the five sounds which I have on the desktop. So you start pressing them there. Yeah. So it just basically plays one of the sounds randomly from our select good sounds we have available. So let me show you how to create that today. So already in my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Random Sound Generator for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first things we want to do is get your sound files, which I have already, and simply drag and drop them into our supporting files. Make sure they copy items into destinations group folder so we have them in our project. Now once we've done that we need to import the audio, to audio toolbox framework to allow us to play sounds in our apps. So click on to build phases, link a binary of libraries and then we go to audio, simply type in audio and add the audio toolbox. Now once we've done that we need to go to our viewcontroller.h and then implement our audio toolbox to tell our view controller that we have it. So we do hash import and then make sure we do the more than and less than symbol one and then we type in audio toolbox forward slash audio toolbox dot h. Now once we've done that we can save it, jump straight into our view controller dot xib where we'll add in our round rec button a random sound, let's give it a simple name there and we'll click onto our assistant editor here, let's make it a little bit bigger, where we will add or we'll link up our button and we do action and I'll simply name it random sound and save that. Close the assistant editor and if you jump back straight back into our viewcontroller.h. Now that we've created our button and linked up with the action, we need that we need to now create six sound IDs. So we type in system sound ID space sound ID one. Now we just simply copy it, paste it so we have five altogether, as that's how many sound files we got, and change the name of the sound IDs from Sound ID 1, make sure you got all five there. Once you've done that, just simply save it, jump into the viewcontroller.m, and then in our view did load section here, we need to now um, tell our viewcontroller.m basically to load the um, sound files ready to be played. So we do nsurl space asterisk, and I'll simply name it button url1. Make that all capitals there so it stands out. Equals space bracket nsurl space file with path. And in the hollow section here we do bracket bracket oh, bracket bracket ns bundle space main bundle. And after the first bracket there we do path uh, path for resource. And then in the uh, inner string of our first one, we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark, and then the name of our first sound file, which in my case is sound one, and then of type will be the um, type of sound file, which mine is WAV. So we do oh, so the um, at symbol quotation mark, and then we do WAV. If it's MP3, you put MP3 or any other file extension and then we end that array bracket or two brackets and a semicolon and then we do enter and then we do audio services create system sound so audio services create system sound and in the first highlight section we do ooh, we do uh, the bracket or bendy curly bracket there and then we do underscore 
bridge and in the type we do capital C F U R L ref there we go there and in the expression here we do uh, the name of what we created our initial URL which was button URL1 and then after the comma here we do the and symbol and the name of which we created our system sound ID which was sound ID 1 and that with the or, um, curly bracket there to link or well, close them all back up and then end that with a semicolon so that's basically all the code there we need to allow or well, to load up our first sound file ready to be played now what we will need to do now is simply if you copied that and paste that so we've got five all together and then simply change the button URLs simply one to five here so do ooh, two three four five change the sound IDs and then we need to change the name of our sound files So and simply now we've got all five loaded up ready to be played once the app um, application starts. So now the next thing we need to do is now create a random generator to en enable us to play the sounds at random. So to do that we do int space, and our name is sound, space equals, space rand, space percentage sign, and then because we've got five sounds you're just going to select five there if you've got more you select it to the or type in the number of how many sound files you have you do enter you switch in the expression the name of our little random int there so which is sound there we go and in the constant here we do zero as that's our first one and in the statement here is what we're going to do or how we're going to play the sound file. So we do audio services play system sound. Play system sound. And in the highlight section here we do the name of our first sound which is sound ID 1. After the bracket, press the semicolon. Now if we just copy from the break to the case here, and paste it so we've got five all together and then simply start changing the case number to the next one up so it will be it should be 0 1 2 3 4 and in total that makes 5 making us able to uh, randomly play one of the sound files from the uh, how we set it to 5 so if we set it to 6 it will it will still look for that 6 1 even though it's not there so let me change the name of our sound IDs So each and one of them are different, so each one plays a different sound. And then that's simply all the code in there, so we can jump straight into the simulator. We'll just close it down here, so there's no error when we build it. So we just wait for it to load up now. Now once it's loaded, we can simply press the button. And you can see it's randomly playing sounds each time you press the button. So that's simply how you create a random sound generator. I hope this helps any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and make sure you like and favourite the video as this really does help us out and gains us a wider audience and more people can um, take advantage of our tutorials. And again, if you haven't, make sure you like and favourite us on Facebook and Twitter and check all our apps just by simply searching Geek Element on the App Store. But most importantly, if you haven't, Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.